Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading. This is going to be focused on your love life for the month of April 2021. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm going to be pulling a few oracle cards and then I'm going to be looking into the tarot and seeing what the spirit guides have in terms of messages for your zodiac sign. Right. Please note there is going to be an extended reading where I'm going to be looking at the energy of the person that you are dealing with. So let's get a few oracle cards for you, Taurus. Okay, so the very first card that I have for you is to the sea, right? Now, when you look at this particular card, what do you think of? You think of a person that is on a journey of contemplation. They're trying to figure something out. It feels as if when it comes to your relationship with this specific person, you're thinking a lot about them. You're thinking about, you know, what you feel towards them, what you're going through. There's definitely a lot of emotions here. I feel like you're looking for higher wisdom. You're looking for some sort of sign. You're also looking for a direction to go in when it comes to this relationship. So let's get some additional cards. I'm getting the impression here yeah, that you're trying to understand what is the right way. The next card that I have for you is Valiant Courage. Take action with passion. This card came out in reverse position. It feels like you might have been lacking the courage to act passionately towards this individual. Maybe this person makes you nervous. Maybe there's a history there. Things could be complicated between both you and this individual, right? So it feels as if you're desiring to have some alone time because uh, there's uh, things that you feel towards this individual. You might not have been feeling like you can act upon it. There's an element of shyness that's coming through here. Some of you could be feeling shy when it comes to this specific person. There could be a fear to be uh, yourself as well. I'm picking up an energy of hesitation. Expect powerful change. So the month of April 2021 is indicating that there's a potential or possibility for powerful things to happen when it comes to your love life, right? But you could be afraid of this. You could be scared. You could be afraid of what it might mean for you in the long term of things. Okay. Silver Dragon illuminates your potential with higher light, access untapped resources, look into your soul and see higher possibilities. This feels like the energy of which you are going to want to spend some time by yourself. You're going to want to contemplate and think about what it is that you want to do when it comes to this person. So let's see what's going on for Taurus in love. Okay, I feel like there's certain things that might have offended you or hurt you in the past when it comes to the specific connection. It feels as if there's a lot of things that, that have been uh, left unsaid 
You might not have had the courage to say certain things to this individual. There's something about heartbreak that I'm picking up here. It feels like you've suffered in silence. It feels like um, you're keeping a lot of your emotions to yourself. You're not letting this person know how difficult the situation has been or, you know, um, what an impact it has had upon your life. It feels like that sort of energy is definitely playing a role during this uh, period of time. So I feel like April, there's things that you may be afraid to tell to this person. What do you need to know about the month of April 2021? What I'm picking up here is a lot of hesitation, a lot of fears concerning opening up, being, you know, who you are to this individual. There's a fear to communicate certain things to this individual. It feels as if you want to be vulnerable. You want to, um, you know, allow this person into your intimate areas of life. You want to talk about certain things and show this person an element of vulnerability, but there's a deep fear to do so. You could be scared of what this person is going to think. You could be scared of what this person may uh, feel as a result of you opening up about your feelings. There's a real hesitation there that I'm sensing here from your energy, right? There's something that's making you feel very nervous, especially when it comes to this person. So what is around the corner for Taurus in the month of April? sensing here is that um, you know some of you could be dealing with someone that can be a little bit detached a little bit cold a little bit difficult to read they have all the qualities that you want and love in a person but I feel like uh, you know this person they might uh, be the type of individual that is scared to reveal their own feelings or scared to open up about their own emotions. There's an element of detachment there. But I see uh, that um, the situation has potential for Nine of Cups. Yet this conflict around this person, it feels as if you tiptoe around this person or you walk on eggshells because they could make you feel very nervous or afraid to be yourself. Let's get some further clarification. Yeah, so what I see is, you know, you could be waiting on the sidelines when it comes to this individual, trying to see, you know, if there's an opportunity to open up. But I also feel as if you might have been wounded and hurt and you could be afraid of showing this individual who you are or, you know, those qualities of yourself. You might be afraid of displaying them. Now, I see here yeah, that... Um, you're hoping for this individual to change. You're hoping for this individual to be more open when it comes to their own particular feelings. You're hoping for this individual to make it easier for you. And I'm sensing here this person is a little bit slow to show affection or to show generosity and kindness towards you. There's a hesitation there. It feels like um, they could be going through their own things. And I feel like the two of you sort of do this to each other where both you and this person have a lot of feelings for each other but uh, are too afraid to show it. And that's really a, a difficult sort of thing to go through, you know. So I feel like for some of you, this could be incredibly um, hard to uh, be in, in terms of the experience. What does Spirit want you to know? In the extended reading, I'm going to be looking at your person's energy and their perspective. Okay, so what I get for you is choices, right? There's an energy of you having a choice 
to make. When you worry about decisions, it means that your mind is trying to control your life and that results in choices made from the ego. Your angel guidance is to consider and evaluate all the options and let go of your head and choose from your heart that which gives you the greatest joy and feels right. Do not act from foolish impulse, however, rather from divinely prompted inspiration. Make choices for the highest good. Remember that if something is not for your highest good, it certainly is not for the highest good of those around you. So let go of false feelings of responsibilities for others and choose with, with, with wisdom, right? Then from your point of deep inner stillness, make your choices easily and spontaneously. So I feel like you have a choice to make in the month of April 2021. And you're looking to see if this individual is going to reciprocate or meet you halfway, but there's a fear of uncertainty that they might not. There's certain emotions you haven't opened up about to this person. And I feel like there's, um, there's hope there because expect powerful change. We have that particular card, but you might not have the courage to do so. So what you're being told to do here, Taurus, is to, you know, become still and attuned to your soul. Ask your angels for guidance and help. So this is about your spirituality. You can't necessarily go and do things that are really foolish in the month of April, but you have to act uh, when you are divinely guided. That's what I'm getting for you. So very interesting, the energies are showing up in this light. It feels as if you have a lot to contemplate. You're trying to move things forward with this individual, yet they are hesitant to show you more of themselves. And so the two of you are mirroring each other. And sort of not giving in to this relationship. I feel like you're hoping for this person to loosen up and to be less uh, cold or less um, distant. It feels like that sort of energy. But I do pick up from them that they do care for you. It just feels like they're not acting upon it. So in the extended reading, what I'm going to be looking at is the energy of your person. What are they going through? And, um, you know, what is the advice for uh, this particular person and how you can potentially apply it to them? I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.